I am aware, Mr. Trenchard, you are not used to the manners of good society, and that alone will excuse the impertinence of which you have been guilty. Don't know the manners of good society, eh? Well, I guess I know enough to turn you inside out, old gal. You sock dologizing old man trap. Abraham Lincoln was not the only casualty of his assassination. There was Mary. Many have said it was a major cause of her involuntary confinement ten years after her husband's death. But there were two other little-known casualties. Their fates would not be met as quickly as Lincoln's, but they would be met in part by the same bullet. Major Henry Rathbone and his fiancée, Clara Harris, were in the private theater box with the Lincolns when John Wilkes Booth murdered the president. Clara had become friends with Mary Lincoln around the time the Lincolns moved to Washington. After the gunshot, Rathbone attempted to apprehend Booth. The major stated later, I instantly sprang towards him and seized him. He wrested himself from my grasp. As they struggled, Booth slashed Rathbone's arm from shoulder to elbow. Rathbone then made another attempt to grab Booth, but again, Booth pulled away and jumped to the stage. Later, as he was being attended to by a doctor, Rathbone ranted helplessly, knowing that Lincoln lay dying at a boarding house across the street from the theater. After healing physically, Rathbone was never able to recover psychologically from the assassination. He felt at fault for not preventing Lincoln's death. In 1867, he and Clara Harris married. They eventually had three children. Rathbone began suffering unexplained medical problems in 1869. He became distant, his demeanor more unstable. And despite references from at least 12 esteemed officials, he was denied a State Department post. An irrational jealousy arose as he began to believe that Clara was going to leave him and take the children. By the end of 1883, the Rathbones were living in Germany. Rathbone began to hallucinate regularly as his obsession with Clara's leaving became uncontrollable. He was depressed, erratic. He would not allow Clara to be alone. He also bought a pistol. According to most accounts, in the early morning hours of December 23, 1883, Rathbone entered his children's bedroom. Afraid he meant to harm them, Clara gently guided him into their master bedroom. Rathbone fatally shot Clara, and then he stabbed himself. But he would survive the suicide attempt. Clara's sister Louise and brother William took the Rathbone's children back to the U.S. about a month later. Rathbone lived the rest of his life in the Provincial Insane Asylum in Hildesheim, Germany. He died there on August 14, 1911.